According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, 569 million tons of construction and demolition debris were generated in the United States in 2017, which is more than twice the amount of generated municipal solid waste in America. The City of Chicago categorizes construction and demolition debris as non-hazardous, non-contaminated solid waste resulting from construction, remodeling, repair or demolition projects on the pavement, buildings, and other structures. Following both construction and demolition, many of these debris are placed into landfills, pose significant health risks, and disrupt the surrounding environment. The waste management hierarchy ranks different waste management practices in order from most to least preferred with respect to greenhouse gas emissions. The figure on the right compares greenhouse gas emissions to other energy production technologies and depicts waste hierarchy, including landfill disposal practices, ranked by greenhouse gas emissions. The challenge that must be posed is how can we sustainably manage the waste created during construction and in our daily lives? At this issue, significant volumes of construction waste are taken and removed from the waste stream through a process called diversion, meaning recyclable resources are redirected back to the manufacturing process and reusable materials are taken to appropriate sites. Reducing the amount of waste created during construction can lead to new employment opportunities and an improved economy. Furthermore, we must look at ways to limit our waste as well as ways to util utilize waste we have already created in order to move forward in this journey for zero waste and proper waste management.